Just as a painter needs to know everything about his paints and brushes, a photographer must know everything about his camera. So let's now explore the camera and all its parts. Let's begin with the camera lens. The type of lens will depend on the type of camera. For smaller cameras, these are usually fixed lenses, where they are built directly into the camera body itself. For larger SLR or DSLR cameras, you'll find detachable lenses, which give you the ability to use different types. With detachable lenses, you'll find two important settings. One selects either automatic focus or manual focus, and the other is for image stabilization. You'll also find between one to three rotating control rings, which allow you to manually adjust the focus, zoom, and aperture. Next, let's take a look at the camera body, which is completely sealed, not allowing any unwanted light to reach the camera's sensor. It also contains all the various parts required to take a photograph. It holds the control buttons, which give you quick access to the various camera control functions. For example, the one with the letters WB allows you to adjust the white balance. On and off allow you to switch the camera, well, on and off. The buttons with arrows on them give you access to the gallery of captured images on your device. The magnifying glass leads to the zoom tool. A trash can symbol allows you to delete. The lightning bolt is where you'll find the camera's flash settings. In the same way, the ISO and menu buttons will bring you to their controls. If you see a plus and minus symbol, that's what you'll use to adjust the exposure. The letters AF stand for automatic focus and MF for manual focus. An illuminated red dot indicates that you are recording video. Finally, most cameras have a control knob or wheel with which you can use to quickly scroll through different operating modes or settings. These are default settings used for specific situations. For example, if you are photographing a soccer game, you can use the sport mode. If you're traveling, you might use the landscape mode. And for night shots, there is night mode. Keep in mind that the number and location of these buttons will depend on the camera being used. Each type and model of a camera might feature them in slightly different ways or positions. So it's important for you to fully explore your camera and read any instruction manuals that come with it. Two more essential parts of any camera are the viewfinder and screen. These will allow you to compose, frame, and visualize your shot before taking it. Some cameras will also use these to display information relating to aperture, ISO, and shutter speed settings. Now let's go inside the camera and take a look at some of the most important parts. The shutter regulates the length of time that the camera sensor is exposed to light. Using the shutter, the camera controls overall exposure time. When you press the button to take your picture, a mechanism opens and closes inside your camera based on your exposure settings. This is how light is allowed to enter the camera. Another important component found in the lens is the diaphragm. Small overlapping blades form the size of the hole through which the light will enter the lens. It regulates the amount of light that the camera's sensor will ultimately receive. So remember, the shutter is what regulates the length of time that the light enters the camera, and the diaphragm regulates the amount of light that reaches the sensor. Now, if you're wondering what sensor are they talking about, we invite you to check out our previous video where we discuss in more detail the camera's sensor. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.